Hello friends, in this video, I would be explaining you one type of cell reference known as circular cell reference. Now, in short, if I need to explain you what is circular cell reference, it is formed in Excel when you're applying a formula or giving a reference of a cell uh, in a particular cell and for the output or for the result, you're dependent on the same cell. Now, I know this is a bit confusing to understand. So for that, Let's take a small example through which I would give you an idea how circular cell reference will work. Let's take an example. I have few digits in few of the my cells uh, such as over here and over here. And now I need to add this. So it's pretty simple. I'll just give the reference and add both the cell reference and this will give me an answer. But what if I do in a way where I add this cell plus this cell and again I add the cell in which I am applying the formula as I said a cell in which you are applying this formula or giving the cell reference is dependent to get you the answer now I will have added the two cells and with it I have added an extra cell in which I am applying the formula also let's see what happens see Excel is not able to give you a right answer and it gives you a wrong answer and this is how your circular cell reference is formed. So this was just a small idea or an example to just to give you an idea about circular cell reference. Let's move to a perfect, a complete example through which we'll understand circular cell reference. Over here I have an example where the revenue is 2 lakh, the cost is 1 lakh 15,000 and I need to calculate commission and profit. Now what commission says is commission is 10% of profit. Now I would not be able to calculate my profit till the time I don't get my commission because profit would be the revenue minus all my expenses of the business. So cost is one of the expense and commission is also one of the expense. Till the time I don't get commission, I would not be able to calculate the profit. So what I'll do is, let's see, I'll apply the formula and let's see how we get the answer, how can we get the answer. So what I'll do is, I'll just put the reference as the cell of B7 into 10%. This is what is the formula. This is what would be the formula for commission. It would give me zero because there's nothing in profit. Now, profit would be, Let's apply the formula for profit also and let's see how we can get the answer. So profit would be uh, revenue minus all my expenses. So sum of all my expenses and bracket closed. See again now I am applying the formula in the cell which is dependent to give me the answer profit commission. Commission is dependent on profit, but commission is not yet solved. So Excel is not able to give you an answer. And this indicates circular cell reference that there is a circular cell reference formed between these two cells. So how can we solve this? Such examples. One way is a way through which we used to solve in the school through basic maths, the cross multiplication. Like if this is 110, what would be 100%? That's how. But if we use that logic over here, then what's the use of Excel? So yes, there is a solution to solve such questions in Excel. You just need to apply the formula as we have done over here. And then we just need to activate one option. So what we will do is we'll apply the formula as we have done over here. And then we'll just activate an option. To activate one option, that option will have to go to file then option formula and we'll have to enable iterative calculation once we do this we would be able to solve such questions let's see how we how we get answer or not i've enabled it and i'm just clicking on ok and see that's how you can solve such problems and this is how circular cell reference is formed i didn't do anything I just applied the formula and then I went to file and option formula 
over there i just have to tick enable iterative calculation so this is how circular cell reference could be explained or solved i hope this video will help you guys thank you